Where do Indigenous teachings come from and why are they different? Why are there so many different Indigenous cultural teachings across Canada and the US? If you want to learn and celebrate Indigenous culture in Canada, then teachings is exactly where you want to start. And this video is for you. Hi there, I'm Mallory. Welcome back to the Tribal Trade channel where we share new videos every single week about smudging, Indigenous culture, and Native teachings. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you never miss a video. Where do you even begin to learn about Indigenous people in Canada? There is so much to learn guys, it is amazing. And you are in the right place. Indigenous culture is incredibly diverse. And at Tribal Trade, Indigenous cultural teachings is what we do. You can travel all over the world and find many different Indigenous people. And each of the areas diverses even further until you have a vast network of Indigenous culture. In Canada alone, there are over 2,000 First Nation reserves. I'm from Curve Lake First Nation, which is one of the 2,000 First Nation communities. Each nation has a unique history that has shaped the cultural identity of its people and the teachings they pass down from generation to generation. Let's dive into three important reasons Indigenous cultural teachings are so diverse. There's so much to learn about Indigenous teachings and how they differ between groups of Indigenous people. Today, we'll talk about three of the main ways to understand why Indigenous teachings are so diverse. But I'll also share some links to some great sources at the end of this video if you want to continue learning on your own. One reason Indigenous teachings in Canada differ is that they come from many different Indigenous tribes and nations. When I say nation, it's not the same as the nation Canada. There are many groups of Indigenous people and each tribe, nation, and band of Indigenous people have their own culture, traditions, worldviews, language, and lifestyles. Because of this, there is a huge cultural diversity that you must be aware of in order to understand where Indigenous teachings come from and why they can be completely different depending on who you're talking to, not only just in Canada, but across the world. In each of these groups of Indigenous people, teachings were historically shared by the elders of the community. This helps develop the spiritual, social, cultural, and educational background of each group. Elders guard these teachings for their communities and distribute information accordingly. So you can see why each tribe or nation of Indigenous people might have their own teachings depending on where they're from, their history, their elders, their lifestyle, and any number of other factors. The second reason Indigenous teachings are different in Canada is Indigenous teachings are formed based on the territory of each tribe. Environment is a big part of what shapes Indigenous culture and teachings. The land is so important and sacred to Indigenous people that it completely shapes each community. Each tribe is from a different territory with different ecosystems and different ways of life. This forms what we teach and how we teach our future generations. Different territories have different natural resources, different views surrounding the land, different native plants and animals, and so much more. Where Indigenous people come from is a big part of what shapes our teachings. There are so many places in the world and so many different tribes and groups of people that there can be a limitless number of beliefs and teachings. That is another reason why Indigenous teachings differ so greatly from place to place, because each group's teachings are shaped by where they come from and the land they reside on. Do you find your teachings differ from other Indigenous people's teachings? Please let us know in the comments below. There's one more big reason why Indigenous teachings differ so greatly between people all over the world. What is your spirit animal? Answer these seven questions to find out what your spirit animal is based on the seven grandfather teachings. If you're wanting to learn more about the seven grandfather teachings, what they mean and how they align with your personal journey, answer these seven questions and discover the spirit animal teaching that represents you. Click on the link to find out your spirit animal and tell us the result that you got in the comments below. Now, the third reason Indigenous teachings are so diverse in Canada is that teachings are based on the lifestyle of each tribe, which often dates back centuries. 
Indigenous teachings are also formed by the values, beliefs, customs, and lifestyles of the tribes. Most Indigenous cultures have very similar core values and beliefs. In Canada, many tribes have similar teachings. For example, the medicine wheel, also known as the sacred hoops or circles. And the seven grandfather teachings are core teachings of most tribes in Canada. However, they are each taught in different variations depending on the specific tribe. Each variation has its own value, and there's no right or wrong way of teaching it. Indigenous teachings are shaped by the people who teach them as well, their values, their beliefs, and the life that they have lived. In this way, no two teachings will ever be the same even if they're based on the same guiding principles. There are so many factors that shape indigenous culture and teachings that it's easy to see why teachings might be different so greatly from place to place and people to people. The important thing to acknowledge and respect is that not all indigenous people, beliefs, or teachings are the same, and to learn about the people you're talking to or connect with as no two Indigenous people will have the exact same experiences. It's this diversity that makes Indigenous culture so beautiful. If you're ready to keep learning, we have more videos on some of the important topics mentioned today. Check out our videos about the difference between nations and tribes of Indigenous people, or dive deeper into specific teachings and topics like smudging or the medicine wheel. Thank you so much for watching today, and if you'd like to learn about these topics further or would like to engage in some of the resources used in this video, you can find links below to some great places to get started. If you want to be part of an inclusive community or if you're ready to learn more about topics and teachings like this, join us on Facebook for more community discussion and fun. I hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time.